Ah, oh, hello, happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. And I just want to know if you've ever seen a baby oak tree and what that looks like. Let me show you. They look like that. They pop up. <laughs> you know, this is all, there's one. See, it's all, I don't know, I'm not even on it. Um, just kind of come up and then they open up like an umbrella. It's kind of interesting. And the saying, the acorn doesn't fall far from the tree. It's not a lie. Um, it does not fall far from the tree at all. Um, anyways, it's Tuesday. It's warm. It's, it is legitimately warm. It's not just me complaining because it's not five degrees outside. It's, it's, in, it's in the 80s today. A little bit muggy. Not, not terrible. Kind of like a not quite Washington August muggy. Just, just a little bit. It's windy, breezy today. It's nice. Keeps it cool. It's a little bit less windy down in here, but it was nice and cool when I was up above. I did uh, been learning about all these flowers that I'm seeing out here. The, uh, the Dutchman's britches, which are prolific. They are, you know, when I first showed them to you, it was just that little trail and that little area. And uh, now they're everywhere. They're all over the place. Um, but those are only pollinated by bumblebees. It's interesting. I thought if they're the only ones big enough and strong enough to open the flower to get to the pollen inside. And then once it's pollinated, it drops the seed on the ground. So he's got some fleshy outer layer. Ants take that, take it back to the nest, eat the flesh off of it, and then put the put the they put the seed in the nest debris where it germinates. Interesting, it germinates in an ant's toilet. Um, yesterday, I showed you a little blue flower. That is wild blue phlox. P-H-L-O-X. In case you were wondering how to spell that. Didn't learn much about it. I just learned what it was. I didn't, didn't take the time to look it up last night. And then that tree has the purple buds on it. Somebody's colorblind because that's eastern red bud. Um, so, anyways, they're pretty. They're actually there everywhere. Um, they're not super dense in this particular forest, but people put them in their yards for ornamentals and things. So the neighborhoods are they're everywhere. They're all over the place for good reason. They're pretty. They're nice to look at. Walking up a hill, and I'm doing it slow so that I can still talk. Um, and then today I saw a new flower. Uh, those little white clusters of flowers that have like four or five petals on it. And they're just teeny little things. And it was uh, mustard garlic. Which leads me to believe that's an edible plant, but it could be poisonous. Who knows? Anyways, that's what, that's what I'm doing out here. Learn more about the things that are in this forest because it's just a little bit different than the forest I'm used to. Very deciduous. Not a lot of pine trees or fir trees if you're on the west side of the mountains. Um, a few cedars in here. I think there's a cedar, but they're definitely not western red cedar size. They're all spindly and look sick. So, anyways, this hill's getting me, so I'm going to let you go. Hope you're all feeling well. Hope everybody's feeling real healthy today. Hope you're going to be surviving that weather that's blowing through there. It's supposed to give us a, they gave us an all-weather warning for this weekend. Which means I might not get to come out here Saturday morning because... Hail, tornadoes, 
big hill they said um all the things so friday night saturday morning gonna be interesting but yeah, just another day i guess anyways hope you're good love you guys i was gonna mention there's two apps that i use when i'm out here one is BirdNet, which is associated with the Cornell Institute, whatever they are. Um, that one, you, you turn on and it records bird sounds, records their songs, and then tells you who's singing. It's, it's nice in the morning. Um, so that's a good one to have. And then the other one is PlantNet, which I don't know who it's associated with, but that's the one you, you just take a picture of the plant and then it you tell what you're looking at flower leaf seed whatever part of the plant you're looking at and it tells you what it is so if you guys aren't using anything like that i highly recommend it they're, they're pretty pretty easy to use and they, uh, they work real well they tell me all kinds of things that i didn't know so i used to have one to you could take a picture of the bird but it's it's hard and I wasn't very good at taking pictures of birds and I felt like it didn't work very well. I can't remember what it was called, but anyways, that's how I'm learning this stuff. It's good to expand your knowledge always, right? Mom was a teacher, she would know. Anyways, love you guys.